Hey, what's happening everybody? It is Wednesday and I'm out here by the gate. Got to finish the gate up. After I finish the gate up, I have to go and finish the cow fence. After I finish putting up the cow fence, I have to go and finish the earth bag structure. I have to put stucco on it. I actually have to put the shingle roof on it. And then right from there, I have to go over to the shed right next to it, put the second layer of stucco on it. And after I do that layer of stucco, I have to fix the doors on the shed. And then after I do that, I have to go up on the hill and do another shed that I already built that I have to put stucco on it and a couple other things. After I do all of that, then I have to start on the house. So there's a reason why I mentioned all that stuff to you guys, because this is going to be the stuff that you're going to have to deal with if you're trying to build a house or you're building a homestead. There's a certain point where you have to start making decisions on whether or not you should hire something out, whether you should do it yourself. You know, I love DIY projects and I actually look at it as a challenge to try to do as many DIY projects as I can. However, when you hear the list I just gave you and that's been going on nonstop for nine months since we've been out here, there's a certain point where when we're itemizing all this stuff and doing your budget and all that, you got to start looking at it seriously and saying, okay, I don't want to hire this stuff out because I like to save money. But at the same time, how many hours am I going to be spending on this? Am I going to be able to do it at the standard a professional could do it at? Um, answer's almost always no. And is uh, this something I even enjoy doing? Um, a lot of cases you don't even know because you've never done it before. So the septic was an easy one for us. You know, I had no desire to do septic, uh, you know, other than to save money, which sure I would have saved money. But would I have done it perfectly? Probably not. I might have passed the inspection. You know, I'm, I'm sure I would have. I mean, there's a lot of people that DIY it. And I'm not slamming people that DIY it. I, because, like I said, that I very much consider doing it by myself. But after I saw these guys come here and have this thing done in four hours with the city inspection, yes, there was a crew. But, man, it was efficient. It was done right. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. That's a big check mark on the list of things we have to do out here. So... That, if anything, convinced me even more so that even though we had to spend good money, that there are definitely going to be some things that we're going to hire out and I'm going to just suck my pride up and say, hey, you know what, just hire it out because I'm not going to be able to do this as well as a professional is going to be able to do it. And I don't even like this stuff. I don't know anything about it. So one thing you need to know is you are never going to run out of projects on a homestead you will be busy for 10 years plus, okay? And any of the old timers will tell you that. And so don't worry about having DIY projects to do. You'll have plenty of them and you will still not be able to keep up even after you hire stuff out. So I will say this, there are a lot of situations where you don't have the money and then the decision gets made for you. So if you're in a position where you just don't have the money to hire these things out, then by all means do it yourself. I've been there many times over and a lot of times when we first uh, bought this property that you know I was really on a shoestring budget and really trying to just save money everywhere I could so I had to do that. So anyways I hope this helps people give you a little inside scoop into the homesteading life and uh, living off grid and building a house. Um, if you haven't considered these things you definitely should. I would like to say thank you to all the new subscribers and I will talk to you guys soon.